Hey dolls! Today I am super excited to open up this Barbie Uptown Chic doll from 1998. She is one of two dolls in the Barbie Fashion Savvy collection designed by Kitty Black Perkins. The back of the box describes the doll and the outfit in a little more detail. I stumbled upon this doll at my local antique store and I got so, so excited when I saw her. I was instantly intrigued by her because of her unique look and amazing intricate outfit. I was basically doing a happy dance in the aisle. There was also something else that I got at the antique store, but I'll show you that a little later, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. Anyway, this poor girl has been trapped in her box for 25 years, so I think it's time we finally set her free. Let's get her open. There she is! Also, yes, she comes with a doll stand because she's perfect. Ah! Whoa! It's the broken rubber band for me. Ew! Out of the box, I love this doll even more. I did not think I could love this doll anymore. <laughs> she comes with a couple of extra things, like this doll stand, which is really, really nice. The stand even says what doll she is. That's amazing! And she also comes with a certificate of authenticity. Look at how fancy that is, hello? Okay, why is this so much cooler than the certificates of authenticity of today? <laughs> she also comes with a two year limited warranty. Um, so I think that's expired. I don't know, just by a little bit. That's hilarious. Also, she comes with this mail-in card. That's so interesting. I would love to look into this more. Anyway, let's talk about the doll, starting with her articulation. So her articulation is actually one of the biggest reasons why I bought this doll. When I was at the antique store, they had both dolls in the fashion savvy collection. They had this one, of course, and Tangerine Twist, but I only wanted to buy one doll, so I decided to go with this one. And the biggest reason for that is because Uptown Chic has articulation and Tangerine Twist just has the basic five points of movement. Uptown Chic has movement at the head, shoulders, elbows, torso, hips, and knees. So she has a lot of options for posability. Articulation is really important to me, and I know that's the case with a lot of other doll collectors too. So yeah, that's one of my favorite parts about this doll, but I have so many favorite parts about this doll that we're gonna get into. Like her outfit! Look at her outfit! I'm obsessed with this purple jumpsuit. The quality is outstanding. It is incredible. I don't know what material this is, but it doesn't feel cheap. It feels very good quality. And you can tell right away just how much attention to detail was put into this outfit. Like the crease in the pants and the seams and the buttons and the collar and even the back. Look at the back of this. It's perfection. And I want one in real life. I would have no reason to wear it, but I want it. <laughs> How do you take it off of her? Wait, does it come off? Oh, okay. This outfit snaps in the front. There are no Velcros, which makes it look even more realistic. She has pockets! Ah, oh, she has pockets! I'm so excited about this! I am so impressed! It just looks so good on her. The shoes are simple, but they work really well with the outfit, and I don't have any shoes like this in my collection. And the accessories are just as beautiful and detailed as the jumpsuit. As you can see, she also comes with a hat, glasses, scarf, purse, and this amazing phone. I really like this scarf. And we need to talk about this purse, okay? We need to talk about this purse. Look at how much detail went into that. I know I've said that so many times, but I can't get over it. It does not open. Oh, okay. I was wrong. It opens. <laughs> I didn't think it did. I didn't break it, did I? No. Okay. No, it does open. That's so cool. Wow. Okay, this doll just keeps getting even more and more impressive. I like that the strap is a different material, and I like that it's a real cloth bag. I love how realistic the accessories look, and they really take this outfit to the next level. We need to get a closer look at her face. You need to see this. She is so stunning up close. I cannot get over how gorgeous this doll is. Uptown Chic has the Teresa face mold. She has beautiful brown eyes. I love how the colors of her makeup look together and 
They also match with the outfit really well. Also, as you can see, she has rooted eyelashes, which if you've seen some of my other videos, you might know that I love rooted eyelashes. They're so cool. One of my other favorite parts about this doll is her short hair. It looks really good on her and it brings out all of the beautiful features on her face. Although she does have some hat hair. <laughs> her hair is the other main reason why I chose Uptown Chic over Tangerine Twist because I don't really see a lot of other Barbie dolls with shorter hair like this. Overall, this doll has quickly become one of my favorites in my entire collection and I am so thrilled and grateful that I just happened to find her at the antique store. I love her style, she's so cool and unlike any other doll I've seen before. But what do you think about her? Do you have her in your collection? And also, have you added any new dolls to your collection recently? Let's talk about it in the comments. Before I go, I wanna talk about the other thing that I got at the antique store in addition to the Uptown Chic doll. And that is this bag, which is full of old LPS. I am super, super excited to announce that I am getting back into LPS tube. I've talked about this in a couple of videos on my channel that I wanna start collecting LPS again and add more LPS videos to my channel. In addition to weekly Barbie videos every Friday, I'm also gonna start uploading some bonus LPS videos. This won't happen every week, just whenever I have some extra time to make two videos in a week, but I wanna get your opinion. What day should I upload bonus videos? Let me know in the comments or in the poll on my community page. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for unboxing this gorgeous Uptown Chic Barbie doll with me. If you want to see what the other doll in the Fashion Savvy collection looks like, check out the last episode of my Dolls That Deserve More Hype series where I discuss both dolls in more detail. If you liked this video, please subscribe if you want. I upload new Barbie videos every Friday. Also check out my original series drama Mind Games and follow me on Instagram at Millie Willow's Doll and I will see you in these videos right here. Bye!